What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now then, I'm going to talk about today why it is important to inspect or possibly clean your map sensor on your car. So for those of you that are unaware, your map sensor or your manifold absolute pressure sensor is located in the intake manifold on your engine. And if you have a modern diesel car, then there's a good chance that the map sensor may be covered in oily, sooty crap. Basically, the reason behind this is because you have the EGR valve that is sending old exhaust gases back through your intake manifold. Combine that with the oil vapors from the crankcase breather oil and soot they stick together and basically fills your entire intake manifold with this oily sooty mess and in turn coats your uh, map sensor and can actually make it to um, run faulty so if you do have a modern diesel then there is a good chance that this may be the case for you now then, my car, it's a 2008 BMW 520D and it's in 120,000 miles. So I'm very, very certain that this is going to be the case for me. Pretty sure my uh, intake manifold is going to be completely as full of sooty, oily mess and uh, the map sensor is going to be as well. So I'm going to be taking that out today to at least clean it. I do plan at some time to actually remove the intake manifold, clean all the intake manifold out and completely clean all the intake ports as well because obviously they're going to be full of, full of carbon. Um, but for today, I'm just going to be taking the map sensor out just to check it and just to give it a, a general clean. Um, because if a map sensor isn't running um, efficiently, then it could cause your engine to not run as, as as efficient as possible. You know, you could be running um, a too lean or a too rich mixture. You know, you could have more air or less air or more fuel or less fuel in than you really need to. So it's important to make sure that your uh, map sensor has good airflow to it and, uh, you know, to ensure that it's running properly and everything. So like I said, I'm going to be uh, taking it out today have a have an inspection um, on it and it should be good as well if I can see in the intake manifold just to see how caked up it is and uh, I think it'll be interesting for you guys to see as well um, but without further ado we will get out the car lift up the bonnet and then uh, see what we're working with okay then so we are in the engine bay and the first thing we need to do to get to the intake manifold is obviously remove the engine cover it just lifts up And then you will see it pretty much straight away if your intake manifold's on the top or at least in plain sight. So here's the intake manifold on this engine. It's a plastic one. Some engines, it you know, it's a cast iron one, um, but this one is a plastic one. And the uh, map sensor is that. And it pretty much looks like um, this design on, you know, almost any engine. It's usually just held in by one bolt as well and uh, so it's just a case of taking that taking that bolt out and this should just uh, wiggle out then and then obviously you'll be able to see into the intake manifold and you'll be able to see just how dirty the sensor is itself okay then so in this case the one bolt holding the map sensor in is just a 10 millimeter bolt so we'll just crack that loose try not to drop it into oblivion And this should just pull out unless it's jammed in with carbon. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty dirty. Okay, then so here's just a closer look at the map sensor. As you can see, if you look closely, if I can get it to focus. That is just filled with this oily sooty gunk so i'm going to try and do my best to uh, clean that out but you're not about to see in there let me see if i can get a torch so you can actually see in the intake manifold itself okay then so we have a torch or we have an iphone and yeah i still don't think i'm about to see in there well 
I can see in there myself and I can see lots of carbon build up which is obviously what I expected and some of that carbon build up is actually in the map centre itself so like I said we will be cleaning the sensor out we're just probably just going to get a screwdriver scrape that out just clean the outside of it as well and uh, like I said at a later date we will be removing the whole entire intake manifold completely cleaning the intake manifold out all the swirl flaps and everything and then possibly cleaning the intake ports on the engine block as well okay then so bear in mind this isn't actually the worst map sensor that I've seen in the world um, but it's also not the best so I'm definitely I'm going to be giving it a clean um, but bear in mind yours could be even worse than this depending on obviously the mileage and how much the EGR has been active and everything so we are going to give it a clean and to do so I'm just going to use a screwdriver to try and get most of this carbon out I'm going to get a bit of carb cleaner as well, I think, to clean that. It's definitely a lot better than it was. Yeah, I can actually see the bottom of it now. Let's give it one more spray, I think. Yeah, I can't see any more black coming out of there now. O-ring on it still looks good. I'm going to put that back in. Okay then, so we're just going to be putting this back in. It's going in a lot easier than it came out anyway. Just put that bolt back in. Turn it up. Job done. And then the engine cover goes back on. And jobs are good done. Okay then, so another little job done. And it's definitely something that you should do yourself. It's like literally just a case of a couple of minutes. Just take your map sensor out. Have a look at it. If it's covered in soot, then, you know, just give it a little clean. Now, whether or not this is going to make too much difference, I really don't expect it to make much difference if any at all like you know i'm not really going to expect to gain um much mpgs or you know any more power or anything like that um but doing these little things in theory is going to make your engine run that little bit more efficiently so all you know doing little things adding up over time um you know can can come to a better result in the long run and um, like I said, I do want to clean the entire intake manifold out. Uh, and that is something that I do expect to make um, at least a notable difference, um, especially to the um, MPG as well, because I, I have a good feeling that the swirl flaps are just going to be completely just caked in sooty, oily crap. And um, obviously, if the airflow is restricted going through to the intake ports as well, then that's going to mean less um, air available going into the combustion chamber. So it's going to, you know, be a uh, richer mix because there's going to be less air and more fuel. So, um, yeah, that's in turn going to be obviously be um, resulting in lower um, miles per gallon. But anyway, um, with all that aside, I hope this video has helped you out. I hope you've learned a thing or two because, you know, believe it or not, there's a lot of people that don't know about uh intake manifolds getting filled up with the you know sooty oily crap especially on diesels um obviously like i said with the crankcase breather and then the egr valve as well they work together to um basically um just completely fill your intake manifold which is always nice so uh yes yeah, definitely worth something doing yourself i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like if you have leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in that next video. Peace.